A refugee and migrant service in Sunnybank on Brisbane's south side is helping hundreds of new Australians who are still struggling to integrate into the community years after their arrival. The service says in extreme cases, people are so isolated they live without basic necessities and some even beg to return to refugee camps. I was here. You were here. You were here. In a repurposed convent in Sunnybank, these migrants and refugees are learning English and Aussie slang. Now, fair dinkum means he's telling the truth. John Fang and Mona Liu moved from China in 2015 to be with family. They're eager to improve their English so they can help their grandchildren. You are never too old to learn. <laughs> so we are learning. Yeah. The couple is among hundreds of people who come here each week for counselling, support and life skills workshops. Despite being the only male in this class, 78-year-old Arnold Ferrell has taken to sewing with vigour. I made 36 short pants, 36. I enjoyed making short pants and pyjamas. He moved from the Philippines in 1985 and attends the weekly class to keep active in retirement. When I saw my stress are diminishing, you know, I enjoyed it. But some who come here haven't been able to pick up the threads of their new life. The basic tasks we take for granted become very complicated to them to the point they come here to ask to be helped to return to refugee camps Service founder Prote Mahiwa says failing to learn enough English means many remain isolated. So they cannot integrate. That means they cannot get a job. Those working with refugees say early support is vital. Nationally, about 17% of refugees uh, get work in the first two years. That's a very low figure. A report by Deloitte Access Economics found the Queensland economy could be boosted by $250 million in the next decade if the skills of migrants and refugees were put to better use in the workforce. Back in the classroom, these students are eager to make the most of their lessons and better connect with the country they now call home. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Sunnybank.